In the last video, we met the notion of two lines being parallel. Remember we said that two lines are parallel if they point in the exact same direction. What if they point not just in different directions, but in directions that are as different as they can possibly be? If two lines point in directions that are as different as possible, those lines are called perpendicular. Let's see what this actually looks like. So here's a line, and I'm going to take this line, and I'm going to rotate it. Notice as I do that, this angle between the two lines is getting bigger and bigger, and this angle is getting smaller and smaller. At a certain point, the angle over here is the same size as the angle over here. If I keep rotating after that, this angle is getting smaller and smaller, while this angle is getting bigger. To have each angle be as big as it possibly can, we need to be in this position where these two angles are the same as each other. So that's what it means for lines to be perpendicular. Lines are perpendicular if all four of the angles where they meet are the same size. We call these angles right angles, not as opposed to wrong angles or left angles or anything like that. It's kind of in the same way that we call proper fractions proper even though it has nothing to do with their table manners. We call these right angles. If we're interested in measuring angles, a right angle measures 90 degrees. Now for the most part, if we have a pair of lines, if we just pick a pair of lines at random, they're probably not going to be either parallel or perpendicular. If I just pick a pair of lines at random, they probably have directions that are different, but they're not as different as possible. So for example, a random pair of lines might look like this. Now one of the places that we see perpendicular lines very often is in graph paper like you see in the background. Notice one of these vertical lines in the background and one of these horizontal lines in the background, they're perpendicular. And combining those two things that we see in the background, a whole bunch of parallel vertical lines, a whole bunch of parallel horizontal lines, plus the vertical lines and the horizontal lines being perpendicular, is going to turn out to come in very handy.